The Anchor Rays, the Dinghy Primed and the Dolphin Escorts ready. Our next island on the peat and wetland investigation trip was Saddle Island. This stunning island, situated just offshore New Island, is shaped like a saddle and is primarily referred to as a dense tussock island. The island is about the size of 85 football pitches and is owned by the Falcons Conservation, having the status of being a nature reserve. This means that there are very few visitors get to set foot on the island and therefore is one of the most pristine habitats in the Falcon Islands. Yeah, Saddle Islands, I mean, we came up to it and it's this crazy kind of, you know, you can see where it gets the name, it's like that. And we, we came up to it in the dinghy and straight away there were sea lions swimming around in the water. We got there, there was more sea lions on the stones and the rocks and there were cara cara, all sorts of wildlife. And as we made our way up, we just saw more and more wildlife. It was everywhere, and birds all over the place. Um, Lots more tussock, it got very, very dense there, so we had to fight our way through, but we made it to the top again and we're yeah, um, greeted with amazing views from the top. Um, really, really amazing islands, and the sun came down just as we were getting to the bottom. It was, yeah, stunning. After embarking from the Searcher onto the dinghy, we disembarked into a small sandy bay to be greeted by curious sea lions. What was evident is the huge quantity of not only wildlife but dense tussock grass and it was the job of the Falcons Conservation's peat and wetlands officer David Higgins to investigate the habitats by using a pitfall trap using a very familiar container. So we're going to set this into the ground flush to the soil surface with the lip of here and then we'll set a tile over it as well. Before we do that, we put a drop of water in and a drop of detergent as well to break the surface tension. So the idea here is we want to know what birds are associated with this peat soil, what plants are associated with it here, it's pretty much tussock, and also what invertebrates are associated with it. And then what we'll do at this is we'll sieve the insects and the invertebrates out of here at the end of this. Here it'll be in about two or three hours time. We'll put them in formalin, we'll take them back and over the winter we'll identify what invertebrates we've caught. We're a bit late in the season here, I'm not expecting much. The best catches we've had so far have been in boxwood habitats and not in tussock habitats. Once the trap was active we had a chance to explore the island in search of clues regarding the soil depth and erosional history. It certainly didn't take long. Yeah, what we found here on, on Saddle Island is they've got an erosion scar heading ahead of us and behind us. It probably stretches for about 200 metres. That gives us about 12,000 cubic metres of soil that we've lost from this one patch. But the good thing is we do have tussock grass growing up behind here, so the, the peat farming process is starting again. According to a recent report, the island did have six cattle in 1983. And to get a greater viewing point, the team moved to the eastern summit, battling through the tussock grass, which revealed the presence of two small ponds. Once the pictures were taken and the video footage done, it was time to see what the trap had found. Nothing from this island, but I suspect if we come here earlier in the summer season when everything's happening, it's a bit warmer, we'll get a lot more. And that's that. In a 2009 report by Robin Woods, who visited the island. He noted this island in its present natural state is a valuable asset to the Falcon Islands and it is essential that a management plan be drawn by up by Falcons Conservation. It was this untouched nature of the island which is why it's important for this study. Well we've had a really really successful visit. The first one of the first birds we saw when we came onto the island was a cobs wren which has given us a clear indication that this island remains rodent free. The tussock habitat when we get up onto the top and we went right to the top of the left hill is really dense, really thick sward and fantastic looking healthy habitat. Um, up on the top we was lucky enough to see caracara, variable hawk and that's so we, we know if we've got active predators up here we've got a really good healthy habitat. We had soil profiles of up to three metres along the erosion scar so we know the peat depth here is pretty solid and, and pretty deep which is telling us there's a huge amount of carbon captured on this island. This is one of the islands that belongs to Falklands Conservation. It's very rarely visited. So to, to get here is really a bit of a privilege. And the habitat, thankfully, is in a really healthy condition. 
With the sun setting gently behind the saddle, we boarded the Saoirse ready for the final island of the trip, Tea Island. Next time we look at an old shearing shed and investigate the raging battle of the plants between tussock and boxwood grass. <laughs>